Yes. MPG, a founder of MPG International for his education. So, the purpose of this video is to show you how to open a real account with a broker. So, the broker is FBS. Um, it's a fully regulated broker. You can check on that if you, you know how to check. And I'm going to provide the link. Um, I'm going to provide the link in this description below uh, on the uh, on, of the broker. So let me log in. I'll change the password. Don't worry. All right. Let me log in. I'm going to show you how to create a real account. And then you log into MetaTrader 4 and also how to deposit um, on a real account, you understand? So the first thing you need to do, me, I kept the last time we, we, we opened a demo account and logged into our MT5, right? That is the demo account. And now you have to confirm your phone, cell phone, and verify your identity so verifying your identity this is for a real account by the way verifying your identity you enter your full name here and then your id here id or passport number here and then date of birth and then after that you're gonna upload a photo of your identification just take a photo ne? with your phone take a photo of your id uh take just take a photo and then upload, then send request. And then you'll get approved after being approved. If you're not approved, just try again. Uh, try again and then you get approved. And then that's when you can create your real account. You understand? Let me go back. Okay, you can create a real account without verifying. But then verification is important because they wouldn't allow you to withdraw funds. You will deposit, they will allow you, but you won't withdraw funds from this broker because they need your verification, you understand? That it's you, you understand? So start real trading now. Uh, let's open a real account. You're just going to click here on open real account. Um, I showed you how to register all of this, guys. I showed you how to register all of this. Um I don't want to be getting questions on how to register with that broker, whatever. I show you step by step if you can check my last video. You understand? So, um, for beginners, for beginners, but you wouldn't be like going on a real account if you don't know what you were doing on demo account. You have to like get at least understand something that okay i know how to buy how to sell set stop loss and and take profit which i have showed you on my previous video so now you're going to go to standard account standard account uh but if you're depositing like ten dollars if you're depositing like ten dollars you have to go to send account if you're depositing like uh maybe from let's say from twenty dollars upwards just go to standard account and click whichever platform uh you like using but i'm gonna use mt5 because it's the one that doesn't contain any of my accounts it's 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 a new i've never traded with it understand i only made one example with uh on the on the other video remember we choose the highest lot size uh which is one is to three thousand so that our accounts can be flexible we either choose euro or us dollars i like trading with us dollars and za but za is not available yet za which it's south african rands so you're gonna open account click on open account uh, double check your trading account info make sure you copy your password safe and whatever like so here you go your standard mt4 account information meta trader login which is meta trader 5 mt5 and we're just gonna copy here copy it and then we're gonna paste in our mt4 i mean five let's click on mt5 and then um go to manage accounts click on the plus sign okay fbs is already here but you have to search it and then switch to real 
And then you paste that thing, you copy the, and then go back, go copy the password. I copied, password copied, and then let me paste. And then it's pasted, and then now I can log in. Understand? Um, log in. It's gonna say FBS real, and there is your FBS account number. Um, okay, it's taking too long to load in. I don't know why, but yeah, we'll just wait for it. Let me pause. Okay, whatever. It doesn't wanna show. It doesn't want to show it's fps real as you can see i'm going to a demo account and demonstrate that like on the balance it will be zero zero equity zero zero free margin it will be zero zero understand all you have to do let's see if it doesn't okay here it is all you have to do ne? all you have to do to deposit yeah there you go it says zero zero uh come on why isn't it working I said real, but it goes to demo. Why? But you get what I'm, what I'm talking about, guys. It will be zero zero everywhere. Uh, in order for you to deposit, yeah, I think it's my network. That's why it doesn't want to, you know. It doesn't want to, to load. You understand? So it will be zero zero for you to deposit. Just go to your broker, then click on home. And then, as you can see, this standard account, it has deposit here on the side. It's quite simple, guys. No need to be asking me questions like how to deposit, whatever, I understand. Um, you can ask other question, uh, questions on 073-799-1776. That's my official WhatsApp number for now, you understand. Uh, okay. It says deposit here on the standard account you just opened says deposit you click on deposit right there you go we have capitec we have capitec those who are using capitec you can deposit via capitec visa mastercard i think is you enter your card number whatever fnb bitcoin apps standard bank squirrel uh i forget about squirrel because we have other banks squirrel net bank time bank Perfect money, Nutella, African Bank, Old Mutual, Bitfets, whatever, whatever, whatever. You see, we have a lot of options, guys. We have a lot of options. It's South African Banks, Capitec, FNB, APSA, Standard Bank, Net Bank, Time Bank. So no excuses on I cannot deposit money in the market. Hey, please help. Like I've, I'm showing you now, you understand? I'm showing you now. If you're using Capitec, just click on Capitec. And let's see. Okay, I'm going to try deposit 100 rand. Okay, it says it starts at 150. Yeah, I'm going to deposit 150. It starts at commission 2%. Don't worry about that. It says it starts at 150, but let me deposit 100. Actually, 150. Just just to, to, to you know, approximately amount you will be you will get to standard account what that is ten dollars you understand which is 150 ten dollars 14 cents so deposit um i'm depositing as you can see payments whatever there you go pay guru whatever whatever username password i those ones guys i know actually you know what I'm not going to deposit because you'll see my information. You understand? So, um, guys, all you have to do is put in your username as account number. Yeah. And then your PIN. The PIN that you use to log into your uh, banking app. Ne? Here you're going to put your account number. Here you're going to put your PIN. And then you're going to click sign in. It's going to show you like uh options like savings account maybe you wrote your other account as rainy days or whatever whatever and then you're gonna pick the account that has money and then you're gonna deposit your 150 and then uh click continue and then your money will be deposited you understand 
So it's that simple. Even when you withdraw, you're going to go to though that account. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. It doesn't want to go back. Why? Come on, man. It wants me to deposit. <laughs> so it won't go back. Come on, come on, come on. What the heck? Okay. Ay, ay, yeah. Ish. Okay, there it is. It will say withdraw. Something. Okay, let me enter inside and see. It says deposit. I think the option for withdraw is not available yet because I haven't verified my account. You understand? To verify your account, I told you. You have to upload your ID, a photo of your ID, and then it will be verified. I think there will be a withdrawal option. Or maybe it's because I don't have any funds in this account. That's why it doesn't, like, give me the withdrawal option. Understand? But, yeah, nevertheless, guys, I think, uh, uh, I hope you understood what I had just showed you. If you deposit in here, ne, the amount will reflect here. It will reflect what is that thing here is that little account but it's still doing its thing it doesn't want to show it will appear on the zero zeros it will be ten dollars it will be ten dollars because your account your account will be in usd or euro you understand ten euro or ten dollars somewhere there and then then you can start trading you understand it's just that here man eh? let's just assume here is zero zero balance zero zero whatever when you deposit on the back end of your broker on your broker's website it will appear here that you had deposited ten dollars and then you can trade and then when the balance increases it also increases on the your, your broker's website when you want to withdraw you just go to withdraw on 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 your broker's website into your bank account so it's that simple guys it's that simple i hope you understand and uh, thank you for watching